Americans. Governor Eddie Calvo says the final implementation of the Hayes study has arrived. Today, my cabinet and staff will be paid for their performance based on merit and progress. In a special message released today, Governor Calvo said when he first came into office four years ago, he made a promise that once the government got its financial house in order, that they would implement the pay raises through the Hay Plan. In January, part of the Hay Plan was implemented, and after the election, legislation was passed and signed into law to make it complete. Your government finances are in the best condition since Governor Atta sat in this chair. The 20-year-old deficit is gone. Road construction is happening throughout Guam, and this economy is growing. That hard work and sacrifice started four years ago. We cut costs everywhere and found ways to generate money and stimulate the economy. The release of the checks for the executive branch and cabinet members comes just as legislation has been introduced to remove senators from the Competitive Wage Act. Bill 436's author, Senator Frank Uggen Jr. A lot of our people have raised concerns over the last two weeks on this particular issue. Uggen had requested to waive the public hearing. However, Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz's committee has already set a date for December 29th at 2 p.m. We have to listen to our own people, and that's, that's why we're here. That's one of the reasons why we were elected in this capacity, and I certainly hope that during the course of the public hearing that our people will render their concerns and their issues and understand exactly what the measure will do, and then we'll proceed and hopefully act on it. And whether the act on the bill remains to be seen, but Uggen has concerns over whether the legislature even has the financial sustainability to pay for retro pay for senators. The legislature's executive director, Vince Ariola. It's an unbudgeted item. It's going to cost like around four hundred thousand. Um, but I, I will. I you know, it's just a matter of of um, looking at the different funds that we have here and looking within our budget to to, to find the funds. Ariola says because the legislature is separate from the executive branch, he will have to find the funds within its current appropriation to make the payments, possibly before Christmas. Another concern, meanwhile, is whether there's even enough time to act on the bill should it pass within the next two weeks. I believe that governor always has the option of acting immediately on any proposed legislation that the legislature pr presents to on his desk, and he certainly has that option. The other option is a pocket veto uh, because the legislature will be terminating the 32nd on January 2nd, he has that option of pocket video vetoing this legislation for, I believe, a timeline of 30 days. In the meantime, what does Governor Calvo think of the latest legislation to repeal the raises? Now, whether the legislature believes senators now are, or in the future earn their salary increase is up for the legislature to decide. That is their house. But my conscience is clear that the men and women of this cabinet and my staff Earn the pay that they will begin to get today. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.